Hey guys, and welcome to another Hit Film Q&A. We asked you on Twitter and Facebook to give us your Hit Film related questions, so here we go. Surya Sharma asks, what are the best sources for Hit Film presets? If you've been a subscriber of ours for a while, you may have noticed that Javert Balbar has been putting a lot of content on the Hit Film channel recently. Before he became a member of the Hit Film team, he created his own Inkscape Digital preset marketplace. We'll put the links in the description for you below. Do go and check it out, it's full of really awesome presets and other free content. John T. Hughes asks, will there be another Harry Potter VFX tutorial? Well, prior to this, our biggest request was actually the Flash tutorial, which you can check out. We did it a couple of weeks ago and it is awesome. Now a lot of people are asking for the Harry Potter effect, which we will be doing again in the future. We're just getting a big project out of the way at the moment. Sai asks, can I be a VFX artist without having any degree related to film and video production? The short answer to this is yes, there are so, so many ways that you can become a VFX artist or get into the film industry without actually needing a degree. We did an interview with Ryan Connolly from Film Riot a couple of months ago where he gives you his opinions on this and how you don't necessarily have to go to university. But from our point of view, as long as you have a passion for film or VFX that you want to follow, I mean, that's the reason we made Hit Film Express was to make that kind of stuff easier for you guys to learn and to explore your options regarding what you want to do in your career. Just go on to as many platforms as you can, showcase yourself in your work and do the very best you can. We know plenty of filmmakers who didn't go to university. They just networked loads and put in the hard work and that's really all you need to do. There are so many online courses, there's tutorials available for you to learn. Just start and see where you go. Just do it! Robert asks, will you add an adjustment layer to hit film in the future? We actually already have an equivalent of an adjustment layer in hit film. It's called a grade layer. So in your comp shot, you can go to add new layer, select grade layer, and you can use that as an adjustment layer. Now, if you're looking for more information on this, you can check out our reference manuals. We'll pop them down in the description below, and they give you a really good insight into all of the features of the software. DRM Akram asks, from where can I get or buy a really smooth and long slow motion? To get a really smooth slow motion, you want a high frame rate. If you have an iPhone, they actually record in a high frame rate, so that would be a good place to start. If you're looking for software, you could go for the industry standard called Twixter, and we'll put some links in the description below. Daniel Rarity asks, have any Hollywood or big budget movies ever used hit film? Yes, hit film tech has been used in a number of big budget movies and series. For example, Video Game High School, which you guys may remember Rocket Jump did a couple of years ago. We created the Derez effect specifically for that series. There are other movies in which hit film tech has been used, including Salt, Hangover Part 2, and one of the Halloween movies. We're not quite sure which one, but one of them. Uh, hit film tech is also used in previs. So, for example, when a studio is trying to create a mock up of what their final VFX shot will look like, they often find that hit film tech is a lot easier and quicker to use than some of their other tools. It's worth mentioning, though, that big budget movies or the studios involved in big budget movies very rarely use just one tool. They use a smorgasbord of different pieces of software. We have a number of posters around our office from movies where people have used HitFilm Tech or from users from our old HitFilm forums who have gone on to do something awesome. The unfortunate thing about making software like we do is that we very rarely find out when somebody does actually use HitFilm Tech in their movies. So if you're you know, directing a multi-million pound movie and you're using hit film tech, do let us know because you may even get your poster on our wall and that, my friend, is the highest compliment. Mark Ross says, how about a scripting engine? That would be awesome. That's a really good idea and we actually have some very similar interesting ideas in the works at the moment, so keep your eyes peeled. Saksham asks, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, is there any way to reduce the exporting time without changing the video type? Well, this usually has to do with the complexity of your composite shot. The more complex your composite shot, the longer it will take to render. The GPU of your computer is usually the main factor of this, but having a faster CPU and drive can also help. Scarpantry asks, does the Boris 3D Objects add-on allow the use of 3D models and effects, or is it just 3D text and title as it suggests in the store? Or if so, which Express add-on allows for importing and using 3D models, objects, or is it just a pro feature? So to address your questions one by one, Boris 3D Objects is a super cool add-on, but unfortunately it does only allow for 3D text and titles. Similarly, there isn't any Express add-on to allow you to import 3D models into HitFilm. If you want to import 3D models into HitFilm, I'm afraid you'll have to invest in HitFilm Pro. But we do promise the perks are worth it. 
Thanks ever so much for watching, guys. We really hope you enjoyed that episode, and thank you for your questions. A couple of weeks ago, we did a Facebook Live video with Josh and Javert that went down really, really well. So now we're thinking of doing a YouTube Live video. Let us know in the comments below if you would like us to live stream some answers to your questions so that we know whether or not we fancy doing it. And remember to click the bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you're notified every single time we release something new. See you next week. Bye. Bye.